not one of those items was on your sh holiday shopping list either, and you bought all of it. Little Green Man cartoons for NASA, red wine for the Chinese, they need red wine, a boneyard filled with abandoned planes, and that is just the tip of the iceberg. Senator Tom Coburn has made it his personal mission to get to the bottom of government waste. He joins us. Nice to see you, sir. Greta, good to see you. Thanks it is me. horrifying. <clears throat> I mean, this book that you've written about all the government waste, it's stunning. Well, I th you know, I'm not uh, amazed or shocked anymore. Uh, I know the stupid, incompetent things we do. Uh, what is even worse than that book is that the members of Congress aren't fixing it. I mean, it, you think about it. Uh, you know, people can pick at that book and say, well, that's just your philosophy. And uh, you, this, you don't think that's an appropriate way to spend money. And, and I'd get them to actually ask them to think about it a different way. At a time when we're borrowing $750 billion a year, and we have almost an $18 trillion debt, is now the time, even if you think I'm wrong, is now the time to spend money on those kinds of things. The NSF granting a study to check the, I mean, why is that something that we need to do? Our problem is, is we're spending money that we don't have on things that we don't need. We don't need that study. Well, the, uh, in the introductory first part of the book, you talk about how the president and his cabinet issued dire warnings about a cataclysmic impacts of sequestration that taxpayers, um, you know, with the whole what was going to happen to us, yet we just, we just spend money like crazy on these projects. Well, this book is half of the sequester. I, there's th over $31 billion in this book. And I've got another two or 300 projects that I could put into a list <clears throat> that could easily give us $100 billion a year. So the question the taxpayers ought to be asking is, why isn't Congress fixing that? You know, but I don't understand why isn't the media, you, say, you ask why Congress doesn't fit it, fix it. I don't know why the media doesn't jump on it. You say 400,000 to determine whether or not the Tea Party people are dummies in science or not. And, and, and the media will say, well, that's just 400,000. That's nothing. It's 400,000. Well, the, the, the way you get rid of trillion dollar deficits, a billion dollars at a time. And so in that book that you have on your desk is $30 billion worth of stupidity and incompetence. Well, give me some examples. Well, great. Uh, Uncle Sam looking for romance on the web. Another, another wonderful study. Romance? Wait, wait. We're yeah. paying for romance on the web? Yeah. We're looking we're for it? We're studying it. Studying and, it. And so Why? So the National Endowment of the Humanities has spent $914,000 to look at romance on the web and romance throughout all romance novels throughout the world, not just here. And that's a study that they put forward. Now, Maybe somebody somewhere ought to research that. Private money can do that. Sure. But should we spend a million dollars doing that at a time when we're going belly up as a country? What else do we have? Um, the the uh, Fort Hood killer. Because the administration said that was workplace violence rather than a terrorist attack, we paid him over $250,000 all the time he was waiting trial. Meanwhile, we're cutting the money for the military. Yeah. We, we, we pay the guy that killed, what, I think 12 people and injured some 20 or 30 others. And, and we continued to pay him until he was convicted. He's not collecting money now. But had it been declared a terrorist incident, he wouldn't have gotten any money. But yet we made a decision to do that. So somebody somewhere made a stupid decision. Uh, you know, when you're yelling Allah Akbar, as you kill American soldiers and civilians, that's not a workplace violent episode. That is a terrorist attack. So we, we had that. Uh, we, we, we spent uh, $415,000 supporting wineries so they could sell red wine to Red China. So that's a private business. We're, we're, we're spending the money to support them to go over there and market their wares. And all of these are highly profitable vineyards that sell out their product can, every year. Can you, is it possible to find out whose fingerprints are on these? I mean, who's putting these in? Well, uh, that one uh, uh, came from uh, the U.S. Department of Agriculture. But who, but who, who, who asked well, for it? Well, you can't find that. In, in matter of fact, one of the problems with the Obama administration, when we write a letter, we now hardly ever get an answer. So in we have no words, idea even who's no, I can't, asking I can't for tell this. you the individual, which comes to the other side of it. Where's the accountability? In other words, if you make a decision that wastes money, should you not be held accountable as a federal employee? I think so, but uh, anyway, so, uh, Senator, um, it's a great, it's a great book, and once again, you know, I, I tip my hat to. Um, they can get it on the website, coburn.senate.gov. Great, thank you, sir. I'll thank put it you. on Greta Wire as well. All right. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Okay.